Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the Scan Tool Network. This is just a really short demonstration of the uh, the X Tool D7 Scan Tool. It's a fantastic little scan tool package. Um, we're in a, a Land Rover Discovery right now, and as you can see, we've got a few warning lights dotted around the dashboard. Discovery owners. Um, will probably know all all too well about these warning lights but i'm going to sh show you this tool which does uh, a lot of makes and models and it's just really a quick demonstration of this tool working on a land rover um, so that anybody who's interested in buying this tool can have a bit of confidence in knowing that it will cover their vehicle and it'll do exactly what they need it to do um, if you are interested in this tool i'm going to pop a link to this kit in the description below this video there are fakes there are clones out there in the market so if you want to make sure you're getting a genuine and official tool make sure you use the links in the description because because that will take you to the genuine and official product okay uh, you have been warmed not in a bad way I just I just don't want you to be ripped off with a, a fake tool that can damage your vehicle okay so what we'll do first of all is we've got the uh, the check engine light here uh, we'll take a look at that one we've got the tool plugged into the diagnostic port via the other end of this cable and we'll click into diagnostics it's a touch screen package so what you can do is click on Europe and it's going to bring us a list of all the European makes and models that it can cover. Now, when you see a little red circle with a white arrow inside, that basically means that there is an update available for that particular manufacturer. Um, you do the updates just by going into the updates section and there's a lot of uh, updates constantly being rolled out, but you can do that in your own time. In fact, I might make a video on, on how to do the updates as well at some point. Okay, so we'll go to diagnosis, we'll find our manufacturer, which is Land Rover, which is here. There is an update available for Land Rover, but I don't think it's gonna affect this vehicle too much right now. I'm gonna manually select that it's a Discovery. It's a 2007 model, so we'll select this one. It's a diesel V6, okay to that. And then it's going to take a few seconds to connect to the vehicle. So we'll go system selection and we'll start with the check engine light. So that is, falls under the powertrain control module, uh, speed control not fitted. And then we're going to go to read trouble codes. So these are the two trouble codes we've been getting. Uh, and this is what uh, basically told us that a new mass airflow sensor or MAF needed to be replaced. You'll get a, a unique trouble code, you'll get a description of the fault. If you're not sure what they mean, popping this information into a Google search engine, you can guarantee that if you uh, are getting this fault, somebody else will have had the fault as well and the answer will be on Google. That's what makes these tools so easy to use. You don't need to be a professional and understand all of the terminology because um, it'll all be displayed on Google there for you. Okay, so uh, we put a new put a new mass airflow sensor in, but obviously we've still got the check engine light. So to get rid of that, we just need to click on the tree, clear trouble code. Uh, it says ignition on, engine off. You don't really need to worry about that too much. Uh, we always just keep the the engine running because that keeps all of the systems open. Uh, so when I keep, click yes to this, um, just keep an eye on the check engine light. Freeze frame data actually is a snapshot of the vehicle when the fault occurred. So it stores what all of the systems were doing, what all of the temperatures were when a particular fault has occurred. So this is just telling you that when you get rid of the fault code, you're also getting rid of the freeze frame data as well. Uh, so we'll just click yes to that and you see the check engine light has gone straight away there. So that's a good thing. And then we go into the airbag light. We've got the restraints control module read trouble code now for this one we had to unplug the uh, the, the connection underneath the passenger seat um, so we've plugged everything back in though but obviously when you plug it back in you do get an airbag like to stop that from happening I would unplug the battery or disconnect the battery if you need to do anything with connections uh, in our case though it wasn't really such an issue because we know that we've got the tools to reset the warning light so it's not really going to be a problem for us to to reset it but I guess a lot of you guys who are watching this and you may have a fault like that you may have forgot to re uh, sort of disconnect the battery before you do anything with the connections under the seats and that's why you may be looking to get a tool like this uh, but these are the faults these are the fault codes again same process clear trouble code yes to that and this takes a few seconds longer and the airbag light has gone now again that's very good and then the last set of lights we've got the ABS the brake and the traction control warning lights here they fall under the vehicle dynamics control it's the ABS system really but it's the vehicle dynamics control module and we go to read trouble code we were getting a problem with the front 
right wheel speed sensor, also known as an ABS sensor, uh, which has been replaced. We've put a new ABS sensor in, but even that isn't enough to turn off the warning lights. You do need the tool to, well, actually there's two ways to do it. You can use the tool to reset the, the codes and the warning light, or on a lot of vehicles, you can put the new sensor in and you just start driving and it should automatically turn the lights off but it won't reset the fault codes. The fault codes will always remain in the ECU until they are reset like this. So clear trouble code. Now this will work a little bit differently because you can see we've got command sent here. You can read trouble codes. The codes have gone but the warning lights are still on and that is characteristic. So it's at this point where you would either just start driving or quickest thing to do is just if you've got the ignition on or the engine on just simply turn it off and then start it again and you'll see everything turn off and there we go so now we've got what appears to be a clear bill of health but any Land Rover owner knows that there's no such thing as a clear bill of health on a Land Rover um, so yeah, so that's that, that's just really a quick demonstration of this this product, the Xtool D7. It's nice, it's compact. I've also got the the D8 uh, here, so you can you can see the difference in size between the two tools. This one is more of a, of a professional package, uh, but it also costs a lot more as well. So any sort of home DIY, any anybody who's looking after their own vehicles or they're an enthusiast. Um, or even if you you know you are a mobile mechanic, uh, a garage, a workshop, or you've just like a fleet manager who's got a lot of vehicles to look after, um, there's no reason why you can't get away with one of these tools. They're absolutely fantastic little packages. But as I say, there are fakes out there, there are clones out there. Make sure you use the link in the description because that will take you to a genuine and official product. I'd hate to see anybody else have their vehicle damaged. I've seen clusters burn out. I've seen malfunctions in ECU systems, which is just, it, it, it costs so much money to put these things right. Uh, but you don't get that with the, the genuine tools because they've all been certified, they've all been tested correctly and the systems are, they are as good as they say. So um, that's just a little word of warning, but use the links in the description below this video. And uh, yeah, we'll do more videos on this tool as soon as we can. Thanks for watching and I hope it helps.